What is going on guys, Tazwava here and welcome back to some more Undertale. Now last time we left off, we are exploring this like snow area over here and we had a few dogs that we came across, one of them was called like Doggo, and then we had like two dogs that were like blinded by their hoods or something like that and they, they could only smell and uh, we basically convinced them that we are a puppy that like pet them or something like that and then they were like really confused and also excited about that and they let me go which was pretty cool but then we did a few puzzles for I think both Papyrus and Sans, I forget if Sans actually had any puzzles here but then we ended off the episode over here and I basically went around this little hut over here rather than talking to this guy so I want to see what this guy has to say because we kind of skipped him at the end of the last episode. This dog is staring blank me in blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Ooh. And there's no, yeah, there's, okay, I, I don't know why I didn't click on him last time. <laughs> I don't know why, why I thought it'd maybe it'd be like another mission or maybe a battle or some of that, but I guess not. Let's see what this is. On the floor inside is a box of Pama raisins. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it right there. What's the sign I actually say right here? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Oh, I'm like, I pet the dogs last time, so can I pet this guy? I guess I can't. Yeah, there's no option to pet him, so. Anyways, yeah, let's go over here. I think this was guy who was selling us, like, nice cream last episode. Not ice cream, but nice cream. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Jeez, <laughs> what a savage over here, but. Yeah, we end the episode. Oh, jeez. We end the episode off uh, by saving the game right there, so I guess I could have just talked to those two for an extra, like, minute or whatever, but anyways, looks like we've got another puzzle over here. Yeah. Last episode, there are, I think, two puzzles, maybe three puzzles, where we had to turn the X's into O's or something like that, so I guess that's what we're going to be doing here. Now, is this going to be sliding? Because that's what... Yeah! Okay. Hold on. This kind of reminds me of Pokemon uh, Gold, I think, had sliding puzzles in it. Can I do this? Can I just go... Yeah, I can just go here. Okay, so those are all O's. There's no sign for me to read uh, instructions on, so... Um, if I did... Oh yeah, hold on, yeah, let's do this. I think I have it. I'm trying to think ahead here. I think I've got it, yep. Boom. Boom! Did I do it? I did! Holy heck, that was the first attempt right there, yeah. <laughs> while editing last episode, while I was doing a puzzle, I forget which one, oh jeez. I forget which one it was, but I almost had the answer on the first try, and then boom. What in the world, I come out of that and I have snow on my head? Is there something else that's... Yeah, I just have snow on my head. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what the point of that is, but it just like melts immediately, so. Lip. Oh wait, no, we got a bird right there! Hold on, what was that? Hold on. Is it going to be a bird this time, or? No, oh, it's just snow on my head again, yeah. Or maybe if I go this way, because this is where the bird was just a minute ago. No, it's just snow again. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. It was all... I'm missing a bunch of stuff, there's like a pa pathway down here, there's a path, I think, on the other side of that. Oh wait, there's sands! Hold on. Uh, let's go over here, though. Uh, maybe there's going to be another bird on my head or something like that, but I want to see what's over here. We might be skipping something. Oh, wait, no! Now these are all X's again. Do I have to turn them back into O's or I just skip it? I don't know. Let's go back down here. Are we go oh, hey, look at that! We got a little, like, sand. Wait, huh? Why does it say sands on it? It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. <laughs> I guess, okay, yeah, Papyrus made, like, a snow sculpture of himself. Yeah, it's a snow Papyrus. And then Sans tried to make himself gave up and just wrote Sans on some snow right there. Now, can I not? Yeah, there's no pathway over here. Okay, so I guess I should have just gone over there and talked to him. Whatever. Golly. Let's just go up here. Let's go see what's... Oh, wait, hold on. Is this locked again? No, it's not. Okay. I didn't have to... I'm like, I kind of... I feel like I could figure out the puzzle again if I had to do it again, right? But let's just go back down to Sans. Yeah, I don't know what the point of all that was. Let's see what he says down here. There he is. Actually, hold on. Yeah, just skip past him. <laughs> See what's over here. Wait, what in the world? He's teleport. Oh, no! We have an encounter. We have an... What in the heck is that? Gift... Gift trot? Confronts you? Can I attack this thing? Ooh, yeah, we haven't attacked anything in a while. Oh, jeez, this thing has a lot of health. Leave me alone. He's breathing right now. One. Whoa, leave me alone! Ah! No! Oh, I didn't get hit right there. Okay. Just trust your youthful demeanor. Okay, can I just leave it? Spare, flee, just flee. Don't put any more on it. Oh, I can't flee. This thing won't let me, man. This thing won't let me flee. Eyes you with suspicion. Okay, act. Decorate? <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of trees and like candy cane or something like that right there. Hold on, decorate gift? Let me decorate. Add some googly eyes found on the ground. <laughs> Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, ah, no, man. 
Oh, I'm taking a little bit of but I have more health now, so I could soak up some more hits, right? Stumbles blindly. Keep keep decorating him. You can't improve the perfection. <laughs> Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. Can I just leave him now? Because it's oh jeez. Oh. Yeah, just ignore the presents. Okay. Stumbles blindly. Oh, oh man, I guess I have to check undecorate gift. Refuses your gift. I don't even know what I try to gift him. How do I know it's not a trick? Oh, that's true. Wah, wah, wah. Ooh. Don't take any hits. Ow! Oh, wow, I didn't take any hits. Now, can I leave now? Yeah, I've got his eyes covered by googly eyes. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. It, wait, hold on. What's this way, then? It's another area. The heck? Hold on. Let, let's just see what Sans has to say over here. I'm curious about what's even going on here. Say, are you following me? I, I, I can say the same about you, Sans. You were just teleporting from screen to screen just a second ago. <laughs> hold on. What's he say over here then? You sure do like to exercise. You sure do like to exercise. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just go into this area. But there's another area up top too that we can go to, so... I don't know where this is going to take me. Let's see. Oh, jeez. I thought this was a slidey area. There's some wacky sound effects going on right now. What is this? Oh, I could just walk on that. Okay. What are these things? Can I... Oh, oh. It's a door. Is there a combination I have to do? I've activated all the mushrooms. Does it have to be in a certain order? Okay, there's just like a little... Oh, wait. I deactivated that one. Yeah, it's a door. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there's got to be some sort of combination I need to figure out here. And I'm not going to do it by just guessing, I guess. Huh, yeah. Oh, let's just go back. Yeah, there was that other pathway we can go. We can probably... Keep going that way, it's gonna eventually come up with like a sequence of mushroom stuff that I need to do to open up that door, right? So, and I don't know, the, can I interact with whatever this thing is? Whatever those weird circles are? I guess not. Let's just go up here, there's another pathway, like I said. Yeah, right here. So we'll see what this is. Is there anything hidden? It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. <laughs> this, however, is a snow puff. What about this one? Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. What about this one? Snow puff. What about this one? Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Uh, there's 30 G inside this. What? Did, wait. Oh, take it. It's a snow puff. I guess I did. I take it right there. I didn't hear like a. Oh. oh, oh. Uh oh. That's not a snow puff. That's a dog hiding behind a snow puff. Oh, he's yipping at me. <laughs> one. Oh, jeez. He's got armor on, and I'm battling him. It's the greater. The heck is this music? <laughs> it's the greater dog. Uh, act. Greater dog. Check. Pet him. Hey, yeah, pet him. Greater dog is too far away for you to pet, and you just pet the air. He's got like a giant buff body. Oh, he's just like. Oh, he's barking at me. Ah. He's got a giant buff body and a teeny tiny little head. Greater dog is watching you intently. Well, I don't want to fight him. I have like basically no health too. Fifteen out of forty. Check, beckon, play. Hey, let's play with him. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Okay, so we need to get him excited then, huh? Whoa. Oh man, that didn't turn blue. Yeah, remember last episode we learned like if it's blue, we need to ignore it, right? Beckon, ignore. How am I going to get him playful or like in the mood to play? Beckon, you call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking slobber into your face. Okay, is it playful now or? Oh man, I I'm going to die here. I don't know if you can die, because during that first battle with whatever her name was, let's play now. Bear dog is not, is still not excited enough. I might just try and leave. Whoa. Oh man, right at the very end, it stops turning blue. <laughs> Seeking of, can I leave? Oh, I can't leave. Can I try and spare it? Oh, it's not going to work, is it? <gasps> I'm dead. I'm dead, man. Holy heck, we died. Game over. You cannot give up just yet. Waffle. Stay determined. Okay, I'm like, I'm dead. I can't really stay determined if I'm hacking dead, can I? Is there a... Am I going to re... Oh! Okay, now I'm back over here. Yeah, I, I, I need to... So how much health... How do I pull up my health again? How did I do it that time? Here we go. I've got full... Okay, I've got full health right now. 84 gold, level 6. Stats set... What is this? Cell? I don't know what that was. How did I do that just a minute ago? I'm trying to think ahead, like... How? I think I did it up here, didn't I? I did that. Yeah, I did the outer rim. Yeah. Did the outer rim first. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. It's gone. I have to redo it. Yeah. Man. All right. Well, 
I think. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, you just go in a counter. Yeah, I didn't have to leave. Yeah, boom. That was, that was pretty easy. Oh. Yeah, now we're back over here. And I guess we could just ignore what was going on uh, south of us. Because there's uh, nothing we could really... <laughs> and we have Snowball on our head. Okay, so we checked all these things. Let's see what this sign says. Does it have a hint or... Woof, <laughs> woof, that's it. What a tiny doghouse. Uh, surely it's not a doghouse that that giant soldier guy we just saw a minute ago, right? Golly. And this, it's a snowball. Yeah, I guess we'll check. Which one was it? This one over here? That was... I had gold behind it or something? This, however, is a snow... Oh, I, I guess it... Yeah, it's not like the individual snow puff things. It's like which like the order in which you. So it's going to be the next one that's going to have 30 gold or. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah. OK, interesting. Did I do this one? I guess it's a snow puff. OK, did I click on all of them now or? This, however, is a snow puff. I don't know if I did, but it was this one. That was the, the dog behind it. But do I want to battle him, though? Like, I don't want to actually battle him unless battling him gets him excited, maybe. I don't know. I'm like, I just died right there. So uh, it's worth a shot trying, I suppose, huh? Because we did everything else. We did. We tried the pen. We tried to play with him. We tried to whatever else with him. Uh, I, don't th we, I don't think we have any items, do we? I guess we'll try and fight him. See what happens. Oh, did some good damage right there. 30. Holy heck, he took a lot of damage right there. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't avoid that. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think I know how to figure that out because it turns blue at the very end. We just go to the left, I believe. All right. Now, if I try... Oh, I already selected five. Okay, let's just... Blip, right in the middle. 12 damage. He's at like two-thirds... Oh, he's barking, he's barking. Ah! Get away from the barks! Okay, now he's watching me intently. So, uh... Wait, I can't I can't get out of the fight menu. Yeah, it doesn't let me not fight him. That's kind of weird. Unless I'm clicking the button too fast or something. Hold on. Ah! There you go. Whoop! Okay, we're good. Okay, I must have been clicking it too fast. Okay. Check back and ignore. Can I try and play with him now that I've attacked him a few times? Not excited enough? Yeah, how do I, how do I, how do I get him excited though? Oh, oh yeah, I, I shouldn't move there at the very end. Ah, let's see. Mercy, I, I don't think I have any. Bandage, snow, snow piece, toy knife. How do we go to the next page? Waiting for your, oh, this is how you go back. Man, I don't, I don't know why I just now figured that out. Now if I try to do this and then go back, yeah. Check back and okay, let's check him. Let's see if there's a hint here. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh, okay, yeah, exactly what I just said right there. Okay, just keep fighting him, I guess. Uh, how do I get out of this then? Oh, here we go. Avoid his barks. Ah, there you go. Just keep fighting him, I get. I'm like, I don't want to kill him. Oh wow, that's like dead center. Wow, that's almost gonna kill him. Holy heck. Well, now he's like basically dead. Let's try and play. Man, let's try and play with him now. Play. Greater dog is how is he not excited enough? He's almost like dead from how much I've been playing with him. Oh man, it, ah, it stopped turning blue at the very end. Panting slowly. Hold on, hold on. That does that mean he's getting more excited or? Beckon, let's do that. Call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking slobber. Okay, well, he's getting pretty excited there. This turns oh, man! It's that one I'm always having trouble with. I need to figure out the exact spot I need to like stay in. I don't want to attack him, though. Uh, beckon again. Dog's ears perk up. Nothing else happens. Okay, well, let's just keep doing that then, I suppose. Oh, avoid his barks. Okay. Now, is he... Let's try playing now. It's not... It's still not excited enough. What? He's almost dead. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Golly. I need to buy more of the nice cream from that guy. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think I have any right now. I could actually eat. Beckon again. Bitter dogs eat. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we've done that enough times where we it doesn't do. Oh, jeez. Doesn't do anything, I guess, right? So, whoop. He's panting slowly. Fight again, but not do a billion damage. Let's do that. Oh, no, we killed him. You won, you earned 80 XP and 60 gold. Man! Oh, my gosh. Can I not go back and do. <sighs> Woof. Man. It must be bigger on the inside. Well, obviously. Like heckin' Dardis or something like that, huh? But now the dog is dead. Like, we had it figured out there a little bit. I forgot with this. Ah, oh, and then we got a bridge there. Well, nothing over here to hold on, hold on. Nothing over here told me anything about, like, a combination open up at that other door. Unless there's something hidden behind the trees or... I don't think so. Yeah, that dog has nothing to say, uh, either. 
Oh, he was just trying to play too. I don't think I can go back and like, unless I like die and like I had to, like I died right there. I had to go back and redo that puzzle. Like that's the only time I could. Oh wait, what in the world? Sand's not here anymore. Where'd he go? Wait, did I miss out on? Or did he leave because I hadn't killed the dog? He's like, oh, I'm not going to put it with this little kid anymore. Killing that cute dog. Is the door open? No, nope, not open. Still a door. Still a door. <laughs> Still a door. Oh, whoops. I think I've already done it like this where it's, uh, yeah. I already did it wherever they're all going. What about all right? No. Nope. What about the edges here? This is going to work. Still a door. Still a door. Okay. Um, what about the only ones lit up or on the inside? Nope. Man. Well, I don't know. I, I don't want to progress too much. And I still need to go back and do that spider bake sale or whatever that was. See what that's all about. How much gold do I have? How do I check that again? Here we go. Oh, man. I've got 172 gold or 174. How do I get out of this? Whoops. Tori hey, Toriel's phone. Dialing Toriel's phone, even though she's heckin' dead. But nobody. Oh, man. Nobody came to the phone. <sighs> I wonder why. Because I can murder her just like I murdered that dog. <sighs> I'm like, I was trying to play with him. I was trying to pet him and stuff, but he was too tall and whatnot. Oh, yeah. I, I guess we can go down here. We can interact with this and see if there's... Uh, what do you call him over here? Yeah, no, I guess not. Sans. Yeah, I don't know where he went. He's just gone. He was there before. Now he's not there. I'm a snow with a word Sans written on it in red marker. Now, if I go back, because I've got some money, I kind of want to get some of that nice cream again. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, this is a different guy that sold me the nice cream then. Okay, I thought it was the same guy. Nice cream. Now, how much does this cost? 15? Yeah, you know, let's buy... Eh, let's buy another one. We have the space for it. Maybe we'll get, like, one spider bake sale thing. Maybe two, depending on how much uh, money it costs, right? So, there it is. So we have six out of eight spots right now. Right, let's continue on. Yeah, I got that. I thought that guy was the same guy that we saw uh, over by the other dog, but I guess not. Uh, so, there... Yeah, so here's this. And then... Oh, yeah, if you go, like, through... Oh, jeez! We got an encounter with a chill drake. Can I kill it, though? Let's try it. Whoop! That was pretty good right there. 23 damage. No bedtime, only dead time. Uh-oh. Whoa! The only dead time is for you, Ada! I'm gonna kill you! Or I'm gonna leave. Can I just leave? Yep. Yep, there you go. Right there. Just leave. Flee. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, there's that dog that we didn't kill. We spared that one. This is... What was his name? Papyrus's station right there? And is this one? Oh, jeez, another chill drake. Yep, it is. Can I just leave? No bed to- Ah, oh, he's not gonna let me leave! Maybe I have to attack him first, just like I did right there, but... Leave again. There we go, it worked. Okay. Oh, wait, no, wait. Yeah, what was this again? Is there anything in the box that I left? Yeah, I left a stick. Oh, I wonder if I could have used the stick to play with the dog. To, like, throw it, get him- Oh! I wonder, but he's dead now, unless I can die now and respawn, right? Unless it already overrode my save, I don't know. Okay, so here's Sans, like, hideout or whatever. So now we're getting closer. We just have to keep backtracking over here and then go all throughout Toriel's castle and, and I think near the entrance of it is where the bake sale was, I forget. Whoa, there's a camera hidden behind the bushes. I just randomly clicked right there, but yeah, saw that. Wait, can I not go in the door? Yeah, it's not going to let me in. Oh my gosh! Wait, so how do you do the bake sale thing then? Because obviously you don't get enough money to do it earlier on. Is there something this way? No? Yeah, I, I guess you can't backtrack enough to do that. Man. Unless, oh yeah, you know what? I bet I bet you could do it if Toriel didn't heckin' die there. Because who's going to open up the door, right? Other than Toriel if she's still alive, so. Man. I don't know. I'm like, that's just more of the reason for us to do like a season two or a season three where we do like alternate choices and whatnot, right? So... I guess we could do that for a season where we don't kill her, right? But for this season, she's heckin' dead. Uh, that dog, I guess, is still dead. Uh, if I can go back and reload that save and, and go back to that chest, get the stick, maybe we could play with a dog enough to make him excited enough to let him pet, let, let us pet him and whatnot. I don't know. But uh, let me just back, or I don't even, would you still call this backtracking? Let me just go back to where we just were a minute ago with that heckin' dog. And I guess we'll just keep going forward from there and see what happens next. Yeah, since we can't th get the uh, bake sale anymore. Seven out of eight. Yeah, because the yeah, stick just took up a spot right there. I guess we'll get another nice cream. There you go. So we're full. Still have 129 gold. Not bad. Yeah, see, that guy looks completely different from the ice cream guy. So, anyways, this is already done, right? Yep. Yeah. So I don't... Oh, what in the... What? 
Oh, okay. So if you fall, this is where you end up. And then you see that. Okay. I'm like, I guess, I guess we'll do this. I guess I was good enough. Not bragging when I say that. I guess I was good enough to not have fallen off until there. <laughs> but anyways, is there any going anything? Oh, a little house on my head right there. Ooh. But now, now speaking of house, that dog house is going to be empty forever, I guess. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's just continue on. Yeah, there's this bridge here. So where's this go? I have a feeling, I have a bad feeling about this bridge. Like he's, oh gosh. Well, I've got, I've got, him. oh geez. Oh, I was about to say I have a slight fear of bridges. It would have been crazy if the bridge I could fell out right there, but looks like Sans and Papyrus are up ahead. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh my gosh, you have a bunch of weapons, like cannon arrows, spears, a dog on a leash right there. <laughs> When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Did you want to go? I can't move. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up. What hold up? I'm, uh, I'm about to activate it right now. Uh, I, I, it's still not going. That, uh, that doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, uh, it seems maybe uh, too easy to defeat the human with. Uh, yeah, uh, can't use this one. Uh, I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Okay. <laughs> Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so can I go again? Yeah, you just keep going across the bridge safely, I guess. <laughs> what do you have to say about that, Sans? I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, the ones where you have to stand still. So am I gonna fight him next, or? Welcome to Snow. Snowden. Oh, there's a shop there and a save. Man, I don't know, should I die on purpose so the dog, I don't know. I, I guess we could do the, yeah, you know what? Just like I said a minute ago, I guess for like season two or three or whatever, we make sure we don't kill the dog, right? I guess we're just, oh, and yeah, here's that box. Well, the box is empty, right? Yeah, the box is empty because we already took- Oh, whoops. Because we already took everything out of it, so... There you go. I guess we'll do the save. We got a shop and an inn right there. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yeah, such a friendly town after such a huge attack of weapons just a minute ago, right? <laughs> yeah, doghouse for 122. Did that override the... Because that was 16 minutes right there. I don't know, maybe. Uh, let's just keep going, I guess. See what's inside of the shop. Now, I do still have some... Oh, jeez. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Buy, sell, talk. Yeah, what can I sell? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? <laughs> I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Take your time. Why even have the option there then? Golly. Now, what do you have to buy? 50 gold for a top. Don't I already have that? Manly ban- Oh, I thought it said banana. <laughs> Bandana. Bicycle? But it's spelt like a, an icicle. Heals one, 11 HP twice, eat it twice. Okay. And then a cinnamon bun for 25. Heals 22 gold, it's my own recipe. That seems decent and all, because the nice cream was what, 15 gold? And it heals 15 health? Oh yeah, I, I guess that's a little bit more efficient than this then. But this one heals more at once, instead of taking up multiple inventory spaces like nice cream, right? But ooh, this manly bandana has seven defense plus four defense, and it has abs on it? Tough glove, weapon, five attack, plus zero attack, slap him. What does that even mean? Five attack plus zero attack? Uh, I, I need to look at my stats. I think I can look at them. Uh, I pull up the menu, but I've got a full inventory, so I can't buy anything anyways. And I can't sell anything either, unless I just eat it, but I've got a full health, so let's just talk. Say hello, what do you do here? Or what to do here, town history, your life? Jeez, what in the world? <laughs> I guess just start out with hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Yeah, uh, yeah, I like fell into a hole over by a mountain or something like that and I ended up here. 
What do you do here? Or what to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillsby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. I guess so, huh? Right? With their puns and jokes and memes and whatnot. <laughs> Speaking of the town, let's ask about the town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up a camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or you can burrow under the door, forget about it. I'm like, the door was locked, I guess, from the inside and, and Toriel was the only one able to open it or something like that. And, uh, now she's second dead, so now we're trapped here, I guess, right? Golly, ask about your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but uh, we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? I guess so. Alright, well, I can't buy anything, like I said, so I guess we'll just leave, straight up leave. Bye now, come again sometime. Alright. Now let's go next door to the inn, yeah, the inn. See what she has. Oh, there's an igly right next door, too. Oh, look at this, I know the dog. I want to pet the dog. Mom says that sleeping can recover your maximum, or your health above your maximum HP. Ooh. What's maximum HP? Says the dog or the bunny rabbit or whatever that thing is. Welcome to Snowed Inn. You mean Snowed Inn Inn? Snowden's premier hotel. <laughs> Wait, one night is 80 gold. Ooh, stay or leave. I'm like, I've got full health right now anyways. I guess we'll just leave. So I could either die and be full health and go back to a save or stay in... Because I've got... How much... How do I pull that up again? Here we go. Yeah, I've got 40 out of 40 right now, so... Uh, I'm like... Yeah, they just said resting takes me above max HP. But I've only got 120, so I'd be down to 49 gold if I stayed the night, right? So, uh, can I just go up there anyways? <laughs> no, I guess not. That would have been funny. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I can't get any closer to that dog thing over there. Man. All right, maybe later. We got an igloo right. Oh, what in the world is that guy? <laughs> he looks weird. What? In the uh oh. What happened? Oh, jeez. We got teleported like crazy right there. What is all this? It's locked from the inside. What about this thing? Is this a. Oh, wow, just go through that then. Okay. <laughs> what about this house? Just go into some random stranger's house. It's locked. As they have mail piled up in the first mailbox right here. Jeez. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. <laughs> Look inside. I guess it's empty. Wait, what about this one? This mailbox is overflowing with unread junk mail. <laughs> it's overflowing with so much mail. You got a second mailbox. Golly, it's locked. Okay, so that's papyrus' house, huh? And is this Sansus' house right there? And we got a huge look at the town right here. Oh, there's like Grillsby's or whatever. What is this? Oh, geez, there's like a bunch of bunny rabbits here. And a bear. Hold on. I guess we'll just talk to some people here. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Wait, who? This? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. A tee hee. <laughs> what about this bear guy? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Uh, isn't that what I just did? <laughs> So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Is that guy, what is this guy, a bee looking guy? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, cause you're wearing a striped shirt. Um, uh, okay. I guess kids are only allowed to wear striped shirts or something, I don't know. What about this guy? This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about what? That's politics. A skeleton will tell a fish lady about- Oh gosh, there's like a mouse over here with a giant scarf. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis is dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. Yeah, I guess that's why Sands and Papyrus are always memeing around, I guess, huh? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? I guess, yeah. As that guy looks like a literal demon. Is there something up here? Well, it's just more area over here. What in the world is that? 
giant ice cube being thrown by a wolf into the water. The heck? <laughs> okay. I don't know what the point of all that is. Is this a factory where the ice cubes are made? What is this? Let's play Monsters and Humans. Wait, who said that? That creature on the ground? Why does this thing have a mustache? Ah, oh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Why is there a bush with a mustache on him talking to me? You aren't going to make me human again, are you? What in the... I'm talking to like random things on the ground. Ah, oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. Knock again. Ah. Oh. Someone really likes when someone's knocking on their door, but they really don't like answering the door. Golly. Oh, jeez, what's this? Is there like... Sp Whoa! Ring, ring. Hello? Can I speak to... G Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. What is, the, what is happening? We're very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Click. What in the world? Is that just a random thing that happens or is it because I came up here? I don't know. Golly, this game is like just a big. Now I understand why everyone's like memeing about the game because meme it's the game itself is just a big meme, I guess. Huh? What about these things on the ground? Nothing. Yeah, I guess there's nothing there. Wait, hold on. What else was over here? Oh no, it just ends right there. I thought there was another area I can go there. I guess not. Wait, hold on. Can I see the ice cubes if I keep going this way? Li Wait, what? Librarby? What? <laughs> I keep. Yeah. So here's Papyrus's house again. And am I going to see ice cubes in the background? Yeah, right there. <laughs> so what's the point of the ice cubes? It's already cold here, so... Unless they're delivering coldness downstream to where it's potentially warmer, I guess? Can I look through the window? No, I guess not. Papyrus sure has a pretty cool looking house there, though, but... I guess we'll see what's inside the library. And then maybe end off the episode, I guess, right? So, see what this guy has to say. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. <laughs> I was about to say, does he even know that? As we have like, and, uh, Mike Wazowski over here. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? What? That's like the most specific thing in the world. Come across a stranger and be like, you know what, there's a, a look in your eye. I think you have trouble with crosswords. <laughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Oh, that sounds fun. What about this person? <laughs> When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Hey! And what's up the ladder, though? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. What? Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> well, did I? Oh, man. Can I just skip this by doing this? Uh, I guess not. I guess that kind of, Okay, that kind of skips it faster. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. Oh man, yeah, I'm definitely reading these backwards. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um, uh, let's end the chapter here. Yeah, um, maybe we'll start from the left. It's a school report about monsters' funerals. What? Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. Hey, very advertiser-friendly. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this <laughs> as like I write it in the book. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. 
They start reading it. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. What? Was it that person that just... Huh? I'm so confused. What's the point of this place? And by the way, what was the combination of that door that was all the way back there? I don't know, but... Uh, anyways, I guess we'll go back here and maybe save the game again in case anything... Oh, wait, we never went into Grillsby's, did we? Oh, jeez, there's a bunch of people in here, including the people that we fought. Uh, I guess that dog would probably be here if I didn't kill him. But there's that dog guy, these two dog people that were blinded by their hoods, and uh, this creature, this drunk guy. The bartender's got a flame for a head. These people are probably completely blacked out. There's this dog guy <laughs> and another guy over there, and then Grillsby's neon, neon sign over there, jukebox. I guess we'll look at that next episode, but for right now, can I do anything with the tree? It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Oh. Well, anyways, I guess we'll go back here, save the game again. What's this say again? I guess I never read it. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the undersnow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. I guess that explains why we like teleport over there, golly, but I guess we'll save the game again and uh, end the episode off right here. What in the world? Like this episode, jeez. This episode feels... Like, nothing even happened, but we discovered Snowden, the actual town of Snowden. Explored around it pretty... Can I go into this guy? I don't think I can go into this guy's house, can I? No, I guess not. Uh, we explored the majority of it, uh, and then, except for Grillsby's. I guess next episode, we can start the episode off by going in the Grillsby's, see what everyone in there says. It's probably going to be just like the library, where everyone... Or, libra... Libra... Librarby? <laughs> where it's just a bunch of nonsense and whatnot, I bet, huh? But... After that, I guess we'll just continue going this way and do more puzzles and whatever else the game has to offer, right? Because I'm I'm so confused about the game just in general. Like, what is even happening? <laughs> but anyways, I guess we'll take this little uh, underground snow tunnel all the way over here. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Undertale comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Undertale, where we continue exploring Snowden and whatever happens beyond Snowden. <laughs> oh, bye there.